One man, alone in the wilderness of a changing world, with just his phone, his skills, and the will to carry on. By surviving Northwest Arkansas. Hi, this is Aaron Starr of Surviving Northwest Arkansas. I'm here in beautiful Bentonville, Arkansas, on the beautiful Razorback Greenway, as you can see up there. It's basically just a long trail, kind of like a small road that you can go down uh, up and forth. I think that's art. That's orange art. As you can see, it's a beautiful day outside. And today we're gonna talk about surviving bird watching. I've got my cool Indiana Jones sack here in case uh, to carry all my bird watching stuff or in case I need to uh, get some stones and stick them in there and run away from a bunch of cult members who try to win my heart. Now, as you can see, the Razorback Greenway is a great quiet place for to come and birds to congregate. And you can just sit alone in peace and quiet and kind of watch nature and observe it and maybe learn something too. Birds are small feathered creatures that make up about 90% of birds. I'm sure a lot of birds are edible. We eat some birds, the chicken bird for instance, and a turkey bird, uh, but I wouldn't advise eating all birds as their bones just may be too tiny to pluck out. We found a perfect place to do some bird watching. We're nearly alone and that won't, so other people won't be around to scare the, scare the birds away. Uh, although there are a lot of very talkative bikers by cyclists. Now I think the first and most important thing to do is to explain what you need in your bird sack. First, a face mask. Bring this along in case a runner comes by and leaves you in the plumage of his own biodome. A notepad and its pen to make bird notes, not the type of notes that birds would make, but uh, man-made notes about birds. A flashlight in case the birds decide to hide somewhere in the dark. Not very bright. You can also use the bird notes to sketch out uh, birds that you see to compare them with a very large book on birds that has pictures of birds and tells you what they are. So far, we're at least minutes into our bird watching adventure and I haven't really seen any birds, but I did see one and I got this small sketch of it right there. And now what we're gonna do is look that up in our book and see if we can find a match. Really like all birds. I'm gonna call that a will, uh, willow fly catch. It's a willow fly catcher. There's so many numerous types of birds that bird watching can be very hard to do. So what you need to do is learn to identify the birds by their calls. Now see, that one sounds like a bird. And that also sounds like a bird. Now I thought I saw a bird nearby, so I put on my mask just in case they have the bird flu. <laughs> and that's pretty much all you need to know about bird watching and bird identification. Now, along with birds, there's many other uh, biodiversities in the in the Razorback Greenway, as you can see indicated on this map. Here we have uh, apple turnovers, so you could get an apple uh, pie or something to eat while you're out here, and you can check out the trees and the uh, waters and uh, probably some small rodent type creatures. Now look down here, even down the wild, a wild water bottle. Well, I hope that you go out and get you a cool uh, Indiana Jones sack to go out and bird watch on your own. And maybe you can find new species that... here on the beautiful Razorback Greenway in beautiful Bentonville, Arkansas. This is Aaron for Surviving Northwest Arkansas.